Well, Alec, uh, you can never be accused of not planning this thing down to a fine art with four consecutive victories and having won the victory moon, having won his previous start and making absolutely sure that he got into the race. Whether the weight is right, only the race itself will tell. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Yeah, he, um, he had to run a big race in the victory moon to, to kind of qualify and also... I mean, I've always been of the view if you if you can't run a big race in the Victory Moon, then you might as well not line up for the Summer Cup because it's a similar horses and it's um, if you can't run a big race there, you're not you're not in the race. So obviously, there's going to be a weight turnaround from some of the horses that you raced against in the Victory Moon, which uh, you knew about. And but at the end of the day, the win under the belt gives confidence to the horse, and that's really what you want. Yeah, you know, he's had the weight in his favour all along. Obviously. Um, He's got to find a few, a few lengths or a few kilos. Even with the, his new handicap, he's, he's actually under sufferance because of the weight conditions. It's certainly not easy. He's got that fighting spirit. He, he puts his heart into it, a bit like his owners. He'll give us a go, but it's um, some of those horses that are, are lining up on Saturday. This is they, they're peaking now as well. We, we might have beaten some in the in the Victory Moon. They weren't at their peak, and uh, we were closer to our peak than them, but. We hope we can find that, um, that extra few lengths. That's what we're trying. They're basically three horses that are absolutely 100% tried and tested. Obviously, the Hollywood Bets July winner, Winchester Mansion, Puerto Manzano, a former winner and a dual grade one winner, a, a top, top, top horse, won the charity mile so well. And th there are a lot more other horses, including cousin Casey, who's run to Charles Dickens and, and has huge merit rating and great ability. Yeah, Andrew, as you pointed out, they are the, um, the the proven proven class of the race. They and 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 that's an advantage that they had in they were they were a shoe in to qualify. Um, so they they didn't have to win necessarily win anything going into the race or just put up good preps. I mean, uh, it was like Winchester Mansion. He, he had one run since the July, and it was a good run. You know, he can only improve, and, and Puerto Manzano has been a revelation. I mean, last year he won the race, and, and he looks like he's in better shape for this race. Uh, then you get uh, Cousin Casey, who, that, I mean, I, I'd be very happy if it, if, if, for a prep run like that. Um, so, as I say, they, 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 they can improve a lot. I mean, we had to be closer to our best just to, just to qualify for the race, so... Um, we've got to keep him together. He's, he's done well. He has. I mean, Atticus Finch has come through all that prep in, in good shape, and I'm, I'm, uh, we're doing our utmost to see whatever we can, feed-wise and supplement-wise and, and physiotherapy and all sorts of things. Kitchen sink. Well, so you get one opportunity, and as I say, he needs to find a few lengths, so we're trying our best. It doesn't actually end there because you, you take a horse like Zeus, he's brimful of confidence. Bless my stars, Billy Bowlegs, uh, I mean Royal Victory, he's got collateral form. There's, there's a lot of horses that can win this race. Yeah, well, it's, uh, you'd, you'd hope that for, if, if you were putting on a race like for five million, you'd like to see a, a competitive race. And uh, I'm glad for, for, um, for the sponsors, Betway, and, and, for, and for four racing that we've got a, a race that's worth talking about. And of course, what Betway have done for the grooms is definitely life-changing, whichever way you look at it. That's quite scary, yeah. yeah. 20 grand, I mean, we'll take it. <laughs> you're, not, you're not wrong. <laughs>